Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Another beautiful day. Right now, 52 degrees. Sunny today and a high of 80. Yeah, I saw 80. Yeah. That should be nice. Yeah. And uh, I have golf league today. Oh. Perfect. Well, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Perfect golf weather. Yep. Uh, for the rest of the week, actually, and into the Memorial Day weekend. Looking forward to it. Uh, beautiful weather. Yeah, it should be, uh, should be nice. I'm looking forward to, uh, to the holiday weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday's high was 74. So it'd be very nice today. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Tina from hometown, she's, she's done something I don't <laughs> like. She's, she, well, she's climbed up the top of the Blake building again. Tina, tell us what's going on. Hey, it's Tina from Hometown <laughs> Heating, Cooling, and More. I'm up on the I, Blake I Building like looking at the this. city. It's, it's beautiful, but you don't have to come up here. You just tune into JTV. Now, sometimes uh, Tina does that, and then she'll text us and say, hey, I'm on top of the Blake Building, and um, we don't recommend that. Did she fall? Cause she didn't fall. She <laughs> took the elevator. She did not fall. She took the elevator. It's not too windy today, so... It's yeah. okay to be up there like that. But, what a beautiful day. Uh, please do not try to yeah. be like Tina and, and climb the Blake building. Yeah. What a great overhead shot of our uh, beautiful <laughs> downtown. We've got some great, great uh, downtown Jackson skyline shots from the Skycam. Yes, we do. Yeah. Do you know yes. the, um, on Riverdale, on the CW? They, <laughs> Riverdale? <laughs> they the use CW. Harbor Springs uh, as their opening shot. Really? Yes. Isn't that like, you know, I started watching that show and then I realized it was like a comic-y thing, so I turned mm. it off. It's a terrible it's show. wrapping its seventh season. It's based off a comic book, right? Yeah, Archie. 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 Oh, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be darned. Yeah, I watched a few seasons of that and then, uh, wow, I didn't know that. Harbor mm. Springs, really. Yeah, wow. murder capital of, of America. How yeah. about that? Mm. Uh, the mayor of uh, Harbor Springs, um, he's not too upset, but he doesn't like the fact that, um, you know, I guess Riverdale is the murder capital. Oh. But there have been no murders ever in Harbor Springs. Oh, why did you yeah. say that? <laughs> why did you have to say that? Uh, guess who's coming to Michigan? Uh, the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> no, the Denver Nuggets are not. Ice Cube, oh. August 12th. Brandon, I think we should do it. What do you think? August 12th, Little Caesars Arena. I love him on Law & Order. I know. So um, that's actually not Ice Cube. That's Ice T. Oh, uh, I mix them up. You, you mix your mix ices. my ices. You mix your ices again. Speaking of ices, Starbucks is getting hospital ice. Speaking of ISIS? Yeah, ice, ice. Hospital ice? Oh, I thought you said speaking of ISIS. No, ice is. Ice is. Oh. The chewy ice. What do you ice. mean? The chewy ice. Oh, like the... Bubble ice. Crinkle like, cut? Yeah. <laughs> like not Crushed sonics. ice. Okay. Very good. That's enough about ice. Um, but yeah, I think I would like to go to that Ice Cube concert. Mm -hmm. Very much. Very much so. Uh, speaking of the Nuggets, <laughs> they uh, swept the Lakers last night. Did you watch that game? I watched a little bit of it, and then I went to bed. Here's something interesting. Uh, with the sweep last night over the Lakers, and with the uh, win by the Panthers in the Eastern Conference in the NHL, every series is on the brink of a sweep or already there. That's weird. Never happened. It's crazy. Yep. Nuggets uh, beat the Lakers for zip. Heat lead Celtics 3 nothing. Panthers lead Hurricanes 3 nothing, And the Golden Knights lead the Stars 2 to nothing. I think uh, if you Google Brooks Kepka at the Panthers game, he was at the Panthers game the other night. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. I think the uh, Heat Celtics series is over, and then I think Denver's going to win in four. So we'll see. We That's, shall see. That would be record. That would be a record. That would be mm -hmm. a, uh, a record. Uh, this Friday, uh, Dr. Penn, Penn Chiropractic Center, they mm -hmm. are having a anniversary party, 2 p.m. Uh, at the office on Horton Road. There'll be uh, food, drinks, fun. It's at 2 p.m. You can uh, register to attend online, but that is this Friday at Penn Chiropractic Center. Nice. Is the uh, Selby track meet one week from tonight? Yes. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, one week from uh, one week from tonight, and it's going to be at Jackson High oh. again this year after a two-year 
well, really a three-year break. We didn't have it one year, and then mm -hmm. two years it was at East Jackson, which I loved at East Jackson. It was, it's, it's a wonderful place, but we'll be back at Jackson High. Um, they have uh, one more lane and uh, great facility as well. So we'll have mm -hmm. that next week for you. Mm -hmm. I was uh, looking at the uh, lineup for this weekend's National Restaurant Show in mm -hmm. Chicago. And Heinz is going to be introducing a new machine. You've seen those uh, Coke machines, those remix machines where you can yes. combine flavors. Well, Heinz is coming out with the Heinz remix machine. And you can select multiple sauces to Ooh. create your perfect mix or choose from a menu of recipes. There are four base sauces, Heinz ketchup, ranch, 57 sauce, and barbecue. And then you can add an enhancer like jalapeno, smoky chipotle, buffalo, mango, the list goes on and on. 200 really? flavor wow. combinations. Wow, well, that's, if you have to uh, cover your fried chicken and all that sauce, then you're, you're uh, I can see that being uh, like at Culver's. In the, you know, uh, maybe uh, Brandon could probably back me up on this. Um, if my kid used it, it'd get all screwed up and then it would taste awful. It probably would. Like, like those the, pot machines, yeah. and, and then you try it and it tastes like crap. Mm -hmm. So I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not a fan. You can I already like the, do that um, with the pop. But, uh, where can you do that? Well, really anywhere, anywhere. you can do it because it's, yeah. uh, it's open serve, if mm. you will. But no, there's a, uh, airports. Airports have those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. The um, interesting, uh, we've got the uh, top baby names in the state of Michigan for 2023 already. <clears throat> According to babies.com and Social Security Records, these are the most popular names for girls in Michigan so far in 2023. And number one is Charlotte. Then Amelia. You sure it's not Charlotte? Well, in Michigan, it's Charlotte. <laughs> in North Carolina, it's Charlotte. Okay. Uh, Amelia. You know some of these. You know girls with these I names. I know Olivia, Ava, Evelyn, Sophia, Emma, Eleanor. I know a Harper. I know a Nora. Eleanor. I don't know any Nora. Uh, Eleanor. Yeah, you do. Eleanor? Yep. Hmm. You have a relative, probably, with that name. Oh, I do. <laughs> I do have a relative. Let's look at the boys. Wow. Oh, that's Oliver, cool. Ollie. For some reason, Noah's name. Oh, Noah name. always shows Noah's, up on there. It's Doesn't a popular he, name. He has, like, I mean, we should change his name. Don't you think? Yeah. Like, he's not Noah. I mean, he's Noah, but. Yeah, I think we should just change. And then Liam's always on there, too. Jack, of course. Levi, we have a Levi in our family, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, we do. We do. Jack is popular, and Jackson's popular, too. Yeah, Hudson, Hudson is a great dog's name. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about Jerry Lee Lewis on the afternoon show. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the anniversary of his arrival in London, 1958. Uh, he showed up there with his uh, wife, and the uh, news media said, who's this lady, young lady on your arm? Mm. And he said, it's my wife. And they asked her how old she was, and she said 15. Oh my God. She was actually 13. You're kidding me. No. <laughs> and he married her before his divorce was final. Really? So his tour in England was a bust because wow. he was very unpopular. But in Michigan, so. did you know that currently uh, marriage is prohibited for anyone under the age of 16, but... But provisions allow a judge to perform a marriage on anyone younger with parental consent, and there's no minimum age. Really? Yes. So the parents can say yes, and their daughter could get married. Or son. Or son at any age. And guess what? In Michigan, since 2000, 5,400 children have been married in the state. What? Some as young as 14. What county? Hillsdale. Jeez, <laughs> is going no, on. I don't know what county, but it's true. Um, but there's, a, there's a, a bill right now in the legislature that would change that law. I have never heard of such a thing. Yeah. And it well, seems weird. But when I drive by the courthouse, I maybe kids. have seen some of this. So <laughs> like, uh, I guess it is happening. 
Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. True story. Wow, I'm surprised that doesn't get more uh, national media. Mm -hmm. uh, all those, all those kids' marriages. That's very surprising. Mm -hmm. The Chamber Golf Outing was uh, yesterday. I hated to miss it, but I got a full update from everybody. Said it was a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. There's uh, photos on our website if you'd like to check that out too. Uh, this weekend, the uh, Memorial Weekend, and it's the start of summer in Jackson yes. with all kinds of great things. Uh, the Cascades will be open, and guess what? Free. Free. Free all weekend long, thanks to Alro, as they celebrate their 75th anniversary. Actually, their anniversary, I think it was June 3rd, officially, yeah. when uh, Robert and Alvin started Alro 75 years ago. Free admission, splash pads free, the falls are free, the show at the Cascades, everything free all weekend long. And this year, again, Little Caesars mm -hmm. is sponsoring the fireworks on all three holiday weekends. Wonderful. So thanks Very to good. Little Caesars. They, they've been doing that for decades. I think decades, for sure. Yeah. You know, yesterday I was talking about going fishing. I made the mistake of saying it like I was going on a fishing trip. I had a bunch of people reach out to me and ask me about fishing, and I really <laughs> don't know anything about fishing. I will be fishing off a pontoon boat casually, so. Um, that's really the fishing that mm -hmm. I do. I had a couple of nice birthday surprises yesterday. Oh, what were they? Well, I, I can't say, but uh, I had a few <laughs> uh, random gifts given to me. And you can't say? No. No, I wouldn't. Can you I, say what the gifts are? No. Who, they gave, who gave them to you? Nope. Any clue? No. Starts with what? G. <laughs> Gift. <laughs> no, I had a lot of nice random acts of kindness yesterday. How about that? And then my brother uh, got, he gave me my birthday gift this morning. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Uh, he asked me to go in on it with him. I was wondering because I saw the price tag and I thought, mm, he probably didn't do this on his own. I so said, did I you chip in? I said yes, but I didn't give him the money. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he left the price tag on it so I could see that. Um, that's in my office Sometimes right when flowers are delivered, things are delivered here, but sometimes we get fruit baskets and mm -hmm. flowers. And sometimes they come, you know, from someone that's anonymous. I add my name to Yeah, I've been doing that for about 20 years. <laughs> um... Check this milestone out. This is amazing that uh, this is the third large softball coaching milestone of this season. Uh, Napoleon's Doug Richardson picked up his 500th win in softball. Um, so that's the second softball coach in the Cascades Conference to pick up their 500th win in softball wow. this year. And then... Uh, of course, Coach Cook at Grass Lake picked his up earlier in the year, his 500th win. So that's a thousand wins between those two. And then let's add Western coach Tanya Bassett. She got her 400th win this year. What's, 1,400 wins. It's amazing, really. I mean, it's crazy. What's the Che Che? Is that his nickname? Che Che? I don't know. Pull it back up. The kids had those posters. Go Che Che. That might be like a grandfather type thing. Like maybe oh, they couldn't pronounce Papa. grandpa. So they were like Che Che. <laughs> I don't know. Could uh, could we get one of the Richardsons to call us or Troy Fairbanks and let us know what uh, Che Che means? Che -che. And I guarantee we're saying that wrong. So That's a very cool. Point. Congratulations to uh, Doug. Let's get to the rest of our Extreme Dodge scoreboard brought to you by our friends at Extreme. And it is busy as we round out the month of May. Boys Golf, Jay High finished third in their SEC meet. Jackson Christian tallied 373. And over at the Coldwater Pre-Regional Northwest uh, finished third. And Western fourth. Girls Tennis, the I-8 Finals. Western beat Lumen by six. And uh, that, was, uh, that was last night. A, lot, a ton going on in uh, soccer. Columbia Central... Manchester, Eaton Rapids. Look at all. Look at how lopsided the scores were last night. Good, good lord. How about that? Hmm. Some nine nothing. Some eight nothing. Very, very lopsided soccer scores on the softball diamond. As we talked about, Napoleon picked up that huge win to give Coach Doug Richardson his 500th. Western and Hanover split. Northwest took care of Manchester, and it was Bronson over Springport. And there's some, uh, some baseball scores, too. Let's see what's happening on deck, if we have it, coming up today. 
We got baseball, softball. We got a little track and field. The conference meets are today. Three of them. Three conference meets. Uh, Jeff Steers will be uh, will be located at a handful of those. Uh, girls soccer. Western at Grass Lake. Western should win that one. And then uh, boys golf conference championships. And Vandercook Lakes got uh, their last jamboree of the year at Sharp Park. And that is all coming up on deck. Thanks to Extreme Dodge for uh, helping us get those scores and scoreboards ready. The Morning Show is being brought to you by Sonneborn Orthodontics. For over 30 years, Sonneborn Orthodontics has been providing a, their incredible experience uh, and your trust uh, right here in Jackson. Over 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. Dr. Art Sonneborn, great guy. Who's on the show today? We have got our sheriff, Gary Schutte, along with Deputy Nick Warner, and they will join us right after this quick break. Defending against fraud every day, I'm Erin with American One Credit Union. As cryptocurrency becomes more common, scammers are taking advantage of its anonymous nature to separate people from their hard-earned funds. If someone is directing you to deposit your money into a crypto ATM so you can protect it, or transfer it somewhere by sending a picture of the screen, take a step back and reach out to your financial institution or law enforcement for help or advice. Cryptocurrency is easy to lose and hard to recover. Visit us at thefraudfighters.org for more info and tips to protect yourself. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is preparing. Preparing for the worst by putting to work the very best. Change is improving by replacing utility poles and redesigning our substations. Change is commitment. Commitment to upgrading 1,000 miles of our energy grid every year. And change is confidence. The confidence of knowing when it comes to keeping the lights on, we're always on. Consumers Energy, a force for you, a force of change. At Windy Hill Creations, our goal is to put the fun in personal and home decor. We have the finest floral designers, furniture painters, repurposed artisans, and much more to design and create amazing, one-of-a-kind pieces for you. We know that you may not know exactly what you're looking for, but we'll help to steer your vision in the right direction. Also check out our fresh floral section with new bouquets displayed daily. You're sure to find the perfect gift for someone special at Windy Hill Creations in Jackson. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care, located in Jackson, Michigan. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. With options of individual therapy, family and couples, group counseling, psychological evaluations, we are here to help with all your mental health needs. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. You need a plumber? From leak repairs to new construction. Grimes Plumbing Company, licensed and insured, proudly serves the Jackson area with fast, reliable service. No hot water, drains clogged? Call Grimes Plumbing today, proudly serving Jackson County. On May 25th, Zero Bar and Lounge is having their ribbon cutting, so check that out. Visit zerobarandlounge.com. The Pause in the Park is coming up. The Cascades Humane Society's annual Pause in the Park presented by Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning. It is June 3rd. There's an annual 5K run, one mile walk, or kids doggy dash, and it'll be a great, great day for the family. The ultimate air dog experience. They'll have food and tons of activities for kids. It's the annual Pause in the Park on June 3rd. Can you bring cats to that? No. Well, they have paws. They have paws. <laughs> Joining us now from the Jackson County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Gary Schutte and Deputy Nick Warner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How, how are you guys? guys? Good, Good. How are you? So it's, uh, this is kind of the, the official holiday kickoff to, uh, to summer. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about on the water too, but just in general, correct? And people seem to be more out and about and spry if you will is that is that about right i think you're right yeah <laughs> uh memorial day weekend is uh typically when everything kicks off yeah yeah so nick is a marine deputy correct and you know one thing i always wondered um what do you do when you have to go to the bathroom 
<laughs> we get off the water and go find a gas station. Okay. Just like everyone. And same yeah. with the car. Yeah. And same <laughs> with the road patrol. Yeah. yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Andy, you know where the best uh, bathrooms I do, are. I do. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're ever mm-hmm. out and about, Good to know. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But, um, of course, in, uh, in Michigan and Jackson County especially, uh, safety on the water is so important. Um, you know, I think of uh, sending kids out with families on the first time, you know, but there's just so many things you need to be aware of. What, uh, what are some common, uh, some common uh, issues that you see just, just that you know every summer I'm gonna see this type yeah, of Yeah, so probably two most common things that we see every summer is the counterclockwise rule. Uh, okay. Boats have to travel counterclockwise on the lake. Uh, so it's kind of like going in the wrong lane of travel on the highway, right? You have mm-hmm. to be going a certain direction. If you're not, uh, you can be a danger to everyone else because okay. you're kind of going into uh, the flow of traffic. The other big one that we see is the 100 foot rule, people violating the 100 foot rule. You have to be more than 100 feet away from any dock, shoreline, person in the water, uh, buoy, swim area, things like that before you can uh, travel faster than mm-hmm. Stone Lake speed uh, before you can create a wake. So those are the two biggest ones that we see every summer. We deal with those on a daily basis. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting about that counterclockwise rule. It seems like that's just the natural way to go around on the lake anyway. It just feels that way. I don't know. I mean, you, as <laughs> you know, you go out on any lake and there's people going in, yeah. in every direction. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's the, uh, we have some busy lakes mm-hmm. in Jackson yeah. County. We do. Clark Lake, I would imagine. Clark Lake is one of our busier ones, yeah. Um, Columbia gets pretty busy. Even Wampler's Lake's pretty busy. Wolf Lake, mm-hmm. out at the sandbar, those are the... Those are yeah. the big ones. Did you uh, grow up on the water? Or I did not. How did you, uh, you kind of shift into this, this role? Uh, how the position became available, yeah. and, and uh, I applied for the That's position cool. and was able to get it. I had never driven a boat until I uh, That's amazing. got this assignment. So uh, one question I have is uh, people are out ha- having a good time drinking. Is it legal to drink? on a boat that's moving um is the dry what are the driver <coughs> laws are they the same as yep a so the the laws for intoxication are the same as a vehicle as far as your your blood alcohol content uh, it's 0.08 <clears throat> for okay. the operator uh however the difference is the operator of a boat can uh, have alcohol in his or her hand um, so you can operate a boat and consume alcohol you just can't be over that legal limit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you brought um, some photos. Uh, What kind of a fleet does the Sheriff's Department have? Yep, so that right there is our 20-foot Lund. Uh, And then we also have a 16-foot Lund that's uh, obviously a little bit shorter than that one, smaller motor. And then we have a uh, flat bottom boat. I think you're gonna see a picture of it here coming up uh, that's used for river rescues and um, smaller, uh, shorter, or shallower bodies of water. Uh, stuff like that so Gary do you guys ever get a chance to go out fishing or I mean those are some nice boats <laughs> yeah no uh, they're strictly for business <laughs> yeah yep. so um, you probably come <clears throat> have come upon some some strange things over the years uh, what's uh, what's a typical day in the life like for you Nick so <clears throat> our hours uh, they vary throughout the summer but typically we uh, will work 10-hour shifts and we'll get out to the boat barn we'll get all our equipment around uh, we'll head out to a lake and we'll we'll drop in. We'll be out there uh, any lake for anywhere from two to three hours okay. uh, cool. a time. Uh, we'll leave that lake and go to another one. Um, every once in a while, there's the flat bottom boat there for river rescues. That's some training they were doing. Okay. Now every once in a while, we will uh, switch lakes. We'll hit three or four different lakes a day, um, traveling around. We'll, if we get a call to a specific lake. Uh, for any violation or uh, incident, we will obviously leave the lake that we're at and head to, to where the call is. You know, I was actually out on the uh, Marine Patrol with uh, Walt mm-hmm. and Bob, and we filmed for like a whole afternoon, and we packed up, and we're driving up 127 on the way back to the studio, and Travis, he doesn't work here anymore, mm-hmm said, you know, I, I set the tape on the roof of the car. You're kidding me. It's a true story. Oh my god. Yeah. And we drove out, the t- we recorded the whole everything, and <laughs> we went back, 
and we had run over the train. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and we oh gosh. Uh, sent it into a recovery place and we got a little bit back. Really? Yeah. I didn't know about yeah. that. Well, we'll have to have you back yeah, out well, <laughs> yeah. I think that would, be, yeah. that, that would be the thing to do. How old do you have to be to operate, uh, operate a boat? So there's different levels of that. Um, if, if you're 12 years and under, as long as you have your boat or safety, you can operate a boat that's six, anywhere between six and uh, 35 horsepower. Okay. If you're over the age of 12 and you have your boat or safety or you're born after 1996, you can operate a boat of any uh, horsepower. Okay. The difference between <clears throat> boats and personal watercraft is anyone born after 1978, December 31st, 1978, has to have a border safety permit to operate that personal watercraft. So uh, anyone born before that is, is free to operate it. If you're 14 or 15, you have to have a border safety, I'm sorry, 14 or 15, you have to have a border safety permit. And then if you're 16 or over, you're free to operate it. And it's not just the water. Uh, this time of year, it's uh, summer, it's you know, party season, graduation parties. There's more people out. Yeah. Right. And you, you, you obviously get busier this time of year. Right. Uh, all sorts of uh, issues uh, when summer comes up. You know, we always look forward to summer, but we're also a little cautious about summertime as well. So one of the things that uh, we have to be very mindful of is alcohol consumption, especially mm -hmm. at these celebrations and uh, making sure that when we're out and about that we're taking care of one another mm -hmm. and using the designated driver and being particularly mindful of the kids that are around that are witnessing everything that's going on as that's well. That's a great point. It's a great point. Yeah. When uh, when adults are around out drinking, I don't think they're paying as much attention to to uh, who's watching them. So that's an excellent exactly. point. And, yeah. and, and one of the things when you mix the water in, when you have that type of thing occur, is the kids go out and of course they get in trouble in the water. Mm -hmm. um, which brings me to my next point, you know, the, the fact that we've We've put out these uh, lifeguard stations, I'll call them that, life vest stations actually, uh, at these different lakes. Um, hopefully we'll help with that a little bit. Um, it seems that every year we do have a drowning in mm -hmm. this area and oftentimes uh, these types of tragedies can be prevented. So mm -hmm. hopefully these life vest stations will help with that. Yeah, we don't have any lifeguard uh positions in, at the county parks, do we? We no, do not. Nothing. No. No. So, yeah, you're on your own. No, yeah, I mean, one of the most important things you can do as a kid is learn how to swim. We talk about that all the time. There's people out on the water that are partying and that don't know how to swim, and you've seen it. Absolutely. Yeah. How many lakes do we have in Jackson County that you are able to get a boat on? We uh, <laughs> That we are able to get a boat on? <clears throat> uh, there's over 100. Uh, wow. uh, we stick to the probably main 15 or 20 that we mm -hmm. patrol, though, uh, that are the busiest. Yeah. Is there such a thing as a private lake where people say, oh, you can't come up, you can't arrest us, we're on a private lake? <laughs> they, they like to think that, some <laughs> yeah. of them, yes. That's, uh, that's, that's not, not the case. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Uh, do, do you have to have, like, uh, we're obviously a very lake uh, intense, intensive county. There's, you know, Ingham's got one. So more of your budget, you, there's probably, it's a big consideration. It's a significant amount. Um, obviously you saw the boats yeah. and uh, the training that we put the, uh, the deputies through. And of course, you know, we, we do utilize our reserve uh, officers as well mm -hmm. to come out and supplement some of the, uh, the deputies that are using Marine. Now, uh, typically what we do, Nick works at Western schools. So usually what we do is we use our, our school resource deputies to also go out and oh, do nice. marine patrol during the summer because obviously they're not needed right. in the school. Yeah. I saw Nick last week. He's got an office at Western. He's got an office, he's got a boat. And he stands in the doorway with a huh? yeah, yeah. giant thing of coffee. <laughs> well, he was making sure everything was going. It's, you know, the school year is winding down. Yes, yeah. yeah, seniors in. are gone now. Yeah. So. What's, uh, do you want to tell <laughs> us your favorite lake? I, um, I think one of my favorite lakes is Columbia to go out on. It's okay. just kind of a neat lake with the way that it's set up. Uh, I enjoy Wamplers. It's, a, it's yeah. a big lake, so probably those two are my favorite. It was nice to see so many of your men and women at the Tunnel to Towers uh, on Saturday. Yeah. You had your uh, 
mounted division there, and many of your uh, deputies and personnel actually uh, ran with gear. At, yeah, that's as, pretty cool uh, to see. Neat, neat uh, turnout um, among uh, first responders. Yes, it's a you know that's a, a really nice thing. Uh, Jan Ganzel from uh, Blackman Township puts that on every year. He does a fantastic job of organizing that. Besides you, uh, who's out as a Marine deputy, Nick? We are in the process of filling that position, cool. so we'll find out shortly. Awesome. Oh. By I'll Friday, nominate. I think. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to nominate Larry Jacobson. No. No, 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 no. Well, we hope... Uh, He'll fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> everyone on your team is uh, safe this summer, as well as all our, our uh, community residents. Thanks for all you do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Appreciate Thanks for having it. us. The uh, Sheriff of Jackson County, Gary Schutte, and Deputy Nick Warner. More of the morning show right after this. Volunteer at the Ella. The Ella Sharp Museum has always relied on the loyal support of dedicated volunteers. Volunteers help us realize our mission and engage in the community in the best of art, history, and science. Volunteers participate in our annual events, contribute to interpretive programming, assist in the collections department, and help with fund development and administrative tasks. Simply put, volunteers make it happen, and without them, there is no Ella. But that's not all. Volunteering provides a sense of purpose and personal fulfillment. Help foster and build up our community and community relationships can help you share your talents learn new skills and contribute to something bigger than ourselves with special events like sugar and sharing the art beer and wine festival exhibition reception office work and gardening groundskeeping and more we are always in need of extra hands to help us get it all done we would love for you to consider becoming an ella volunteer please visit the link below to learn more and fill out a volunteer application today only by putting our lives in harmony with the great principle of service to others is that true happiness and true greatness is found. Ella Sharp. My voice. My passion. My path. My career. Concord Community Schools. Our students shatter expectations. Best summer ever. Amazing summers start at the Jackson YMCA. Campers never want the summer to end at the Jackson YMCA. Kids look forward to 10 weeks of fun, packed with activities, games, water fun, sports, field trips, and so much more. Your camper will make new friends, learn, and laugh. Fun for kids, peace of mind for you. Sign up for your favorite theme week or join us all summer long. Register today at jacksonymca.org. Hi, this is Superintendent Steve Doerr inviting you to be a part of the East Jackson family. At East Jackson, we're leading the way in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We offer one of the area's best robotics teams, as well as a diverse array of arts and music programs. At the high school level, we're excited to launch the Jackson County Early College. New classroom technology helps our curriculum come alive, and our staff ensures a safe and welcoming environment for your child. Great things are happening at East Jackson Community Schools. To learn more, visit our website, eastjacksonschools.org. It's a great time to go to Vermeulen's. They're having their annual Memorial Day sale. Tons of great savings, including they'll pay your sales tax. And they're open on Memorial Day, so check that out. Uh, Pancake Breakfast is coming up at the airport, I believe. Yes. It's the annual EAA 304 Jackson County Airport Pancake Breakfast. You remember you used to take me to this when yeah. I was just a little child? They have that giant uh, pancake grill. Yeah about 20 feet long. Kids five and under are free with an adult and uh, it's only 10 bucks a person. And if, you're, uh, if your kid is uh, Barrett Dowley, it's only $5. So still a great deal. Um, and that is on Sunday. Joining us now is the chair of the board of the Jackson Downtown Development Authority, Jackie Austin. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Morning. Morning. And also the uh, Jimmy McKibben Community Enthusiast Award That's winner. That's how I greet Jackie every time I see her. I, I don't it's know a if nice you knew title that. to yeah, have. It's very nice. Well deserved. Thank you. Very well deserved. Thank you. 
Well, here comes summer. Yes, I know. I didn't even realize it was Memorial Day weekend because the, the year is just flying by so far. But I looked at my calendar and I'm like, oh, yeah. Something coming up. Yeah, so it's busy downtown already. Yeah, yeah. We've got our first cruise in this week, and it's one of my favorite events, so I'm super excited about it. And yeah, so it's uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. As we start off the Memorial weekend yeah. and in downtown Jackson, and yeah. literally hundreds of cars come yeah to it's every time. it's we basically pack them in pack yeah. in the old you know old cars new cars any kind of car that anybody's proud of they can come in park it downtown and then people just walk around and and look at them i want every car that's down here <laughs> i know, you know they're they're so cool i accept that huh <laughs> but i don't know who that is but <laughs> that was that must have been early in the event yeah they had maybe that's out, their yeah. their day car <laughs> yeah exactly so you know, it's really fun because cars come down, they start around 5 o'clock. Well, technically the event starts around 5 o'clock. Cars will come down earlier than that mm -hmm. <laughs> and get set up. And you just come down and walk around. We'll have food vendors, live music in the park. Uh, we always have lots of stuff going on. This year is the first year we're going to have the social district in place. So oh, you can go fun. grab a beer at your favorite uh, restaurant downtown and then walk around and check out the cars. I, I think this might be one of the first events where you're like, okay, yeah, it this, makes is, sense. this yeah, is what's going this on. Is, this is a great way to use the social district. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to see how well that goes. Our friend Greg Zeller has acquired uh, an MG, you know, oh. those little things. Yeah. And, uh, and he has told me that he's bringing it down to the cruise. Oh, fun. So yeah. I'm looking forward to if seeing it. If it starts. Well, the problem with those is they, <laughs> they usually don't start. They they don't don't start. The MGs don't start, but I think his is good. Yeah. Uh, the Knights of Columbus always has a food uh, booth. Yes, yeah. yeah, Knights of Columbus, they always, I can, they're right next to the DDA tent, so I always smell the hot dogs and stuff throughout the entire evening. So. Food is kind of uh, one of the main themes in, in the summer That's in Jackson. Right, exactly. Food Truck Tuesday, um, yeah. I mean, that, that is just unbelievable. That's an amazing event, and it's, it's grown so much. You know, it started with this idea of consumers wanting to bring food trucks down for their employees, mm -hmm. and then it shifted over to the DDA doing it, and now we take over Blackman Park and uh, have all kinds of trucks down there. It's so cool. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's twice a month in, starting in June. Um, we usually have some music going on, uh, some, you know, singer-songwriters, local musicians. If any local musicians want to be on the stage, call us, we'll, we'll get what you What I love spot. about these events is it's not just food trucks or, not, yeah. you know, it's, it's a combination yeah. of everything. Yeah. It's really fun to go down and you'll, you'll see people that maybe you haven't seen yet this year or, you know, you get to have lunch with somebody that you weren't expecting. Um, it's, it's a really cool atmosphere, always super busy tons of things happening. We've got a lot of local, in fact, they're almost all local uh, food trucks. And every year we've got new ones, a brand new one this year from Concord, Sippity Split. Oh. Sippity Split. Sippity <laughs> Split. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that it's, shaved ice? It's, no, it's co coffee. Really? Yeah. Oh. Sip, sippity Split. Okay, sippity sounds good. Split. And they're uh, from Concord where Dirt Road Donuts is also from. So they have really good donuts. <laughs> yeah. Is this going to be? Is this summer going to be? Uh, are you going to be able to enjoy the events and relax a little bit more as you won't be planning the finale of Bright Walls? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. There's some other things in the works that we you know. Told you, you guys, guys keep <laughs> saying that in the works, in the works, in the works. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a feeling that's coming sooner okay. than later. So, um, but no, yeah, we'll have. Um, I, I always enjoy these events, yeah. whether I have something else going on or right. not. I kind of make it a point, and actually, I really love, I actually just usually ride my bike down yeah. and, you know, enjoy the afternoon, um, grab some food, and talk to all the people. <laughs> we've got, uh, we've got a lot of concerts that are coming up, concerts in the park. What would be your can't miss event? Can't miss event. I mean, we have so mm, many. There are so you many. You can't say I Bright just, Walls finale. So. I know, because <laughs> I did not miss that one. <laughs> that was for sure. Um, I, I don't know if there's a can't miss event, but I try to make it to all of them yeah. because there's just so many things going on. But I love anything downtown. Um, you know, Hotter Jubilee, obviously, I have a soft yeah. place in my heart for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I love Art, Beer, and Wine. There's just there's so many good events in yeah. town. The more you keep talking about them, I, I, I see you at the uh, <laughs> leadership level of a lot of these events. I mean, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. How could you pick just one? Well, I know, exactly. Do you remember uh, Jackie had the uh, Amazing Race? 
uh, yeah. for a few years. Yeah, and I actually had somebody reach out yeah. to me. They want to help me bring that back. So he's always wanted maybe. to do it. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, I saw you went up. You did a tether in a balloon I the did. other day. <laughs> it's about as far as I know. I was like five feet up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, the uh, farmer's market is under the yes. uh, purview of the DDA. Yep. Uh, what's the plan for this year? So we have a new person running the farmer's market starting mm -hmm. this year, um, and she's doing a fantastic job. I've heard so many good things about people are excited to come down because we're going to have, I think, more vendors. We're looking at bringing some food trucks down. She's working with people to do different events. But then she's also promoting other things that are going on. I know I got a, um, an email asking for some Bright Walls maps and things like that. So she wants to promote the community in addition to what's going on at the farmer's market. So we're super excited. I think um, we're going to have our old staples back, you know, a lot of the, the vendors that have been there for years. But we're also trying to bring in some new ones. And not just food uh, vendors, but crafts as well. Cool. So It's always fun to uh, pop down there. Well, you have a big hole to fill because uh, Sweet Seasons, uh, they retired. retired. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we've got somebody to take that, that niche. That they Someone's going to need to figure out how to make those cookies <laughs> that I used to buy from uh, the Jasinowskis. Well, hopefully uh, there's uh, some interest uh, that uh, someone might continue that, but mm -hmm. stay tuned. Yeah, and That's farmers it. markets are kind of shifting and trend a little bit too, to where you know an outdoor market could eventually take shape. Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, there's lots of talks about people wanting to make the farmers market year round, mm -hmm. and I think that there are some options for that. Yeah. So we're we want to partner with anybody that's interested in helping with that. So. Do we know um, who any of the music acts are? I don't particularly. Typically, we partner with Michigan Theater on that, and so okay. we kind of let them be the, the expert in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this just in. Uh, this Friday, it's Five Second Rule. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So oh, they're good. awesome. There you go. And they'll be from uh, 6 to 8 p.m. right there. Right, right there. That, yeah. uh, true community stage. Mm -hmm. now we'll see, we see you with. Uh, See you with your animals downtown quite a bit. Do you have a classic car that you own? No, I always say I should put my Mini Cooper That's in. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> it's a 2010. So. I think it's good enough, yeah. <laughs> it's it's cool. I love it, but yeah, no. I, I do, I did uh, joke a lot because I have a really cool bike. And so sometimes I'm like, I'll just show off my bike. Yeah. <laughs> I we hope should. Larry's back this summer. Oh my gosh, I hope so too. <laughs> there he is yeah, right and there. you know, Larry's not going to be at Juneteenth this year because. Uh, the people in Toledo, they stole them away from us for that day. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was <laughs> going to happen eventually. <laughs> great okay. to see you, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, you guys too. Thank you. A uh, great summer planned for you by the Downtown Development Authority and Board Chair Jackie Austin. Uh, more of the morning show. Stay tuned. Ace Roofing is a family-owned and operated business that serves superior quality flat roofing and repair services. We have been in business for over 53 years and our premium customer service, high-level integrity, and world-class workmanship set Ace Roofing apart from other roofers. Over 53 years of experience, professional and informative, trusted among the customers, guaranteed customer satisfaction, Ace Roofing slash Jackson dot com or call five one seven seven eight two eight six zero one. The Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill has something for everyone. They offer a large menu with a variety of meals to choose from, including many Middle Eastern options, along with the everyday favorites. Enjoy live music and dancing, pool table, huge bar and large banquet hall, perfect for your next gathering, wedding reception, graduation party, and more. And don't miss Sunday brunch, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Experience a great night out at the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. Have you been to Farm Suds downtown Jackson yet? You know, that cool little soap shop that's oh, so much more. All of our products are made on site with natural, high quality ingredients like goat milk soap made the old fashioned way, shampoo bars, body butter, a whole fabulous face line, dog shampoo, zero waste plastic free kitchen and shower products, 
and that's just to name a few. So pop on down to 229 South Mechanic Street or in Chelsea across from the Common Grill. We can't wait to meet your skin. When you need metal, and you need it now, Alro Metals Outlet is here for you. When your back is against the wall, our vast inventory of aluminum, steel, plastics, and more will help you get the job done. Whether you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer, our retail stores are your one-stop shop for metals. You select it, we cut to length, and shear to size, right here, right now. Because when you need metal, Alro Metals Outlet has your back. Do you do landscaping? Yes, we do. Our landscaping is creative and innovative. We'll make sure your yard is beautiful. Do you do irrigation systems? Yes, our irrigation systems are top of the line and will be designed to fit your watering needs. What about lawn care? We do that too. Our lawn care services will continue to keep your yard healthy and help it grow. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, serving South Central Michigan since 1986. Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. Our show today is brought to you by Michigan Psychological Care and they are new to Jackson, been here about a year and their mission is to aid in the emotional and psychological development of people all ages through one-on-one -on -one and group therapy. You can give them a call. Their Jackson office is 517-273-2033 and that is Michigan Psychological Care. Joining us now, the uh, owner and uh, small business person of the year from Keeping It Clean, Leonard Phillips. Good hey morning. guys, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Um, so I'm really excited to be here today. Uh, you know, I want to kind of share a little bit about Keeping It Clean. Yeah. Uh, talk about, you know, some of the pros. I don't think there's any cons with us, honestly. Yeah, I was going to uh, say. Like. <laughs> we made sure we got rid of them before we, before we started the that's, business. That's so, right. so, yeah, so we got a lot of great pros. And I just kind of, I know sometimes we get asked questions like, you know, yeah. um, the example was, you know, how do we decide which service uh, that's right for our family or right. business? And to answer that um, simply is call us and, you know, tell us a little bit about your family, right? and uh, what your needs are and things like that. The other thing that uh, people always ask us is, what am I getting? What mm -hmm. am I getting when I'm hiring a professional cleaning right. service? That's a good question. Well, it is a great question, but here's the great thing is, is they think it's the clean house, and that's not the right answer. You're buying your time. Mm. That's what it's about. Ah. You know, we lose so much of that in our day-to-day -day activities, and we get so busy doing so much, we don't have time to take care of the things that need to be taken care of so that we can care for our families. That's excellent point. I got a uh, good question. This might apply to you. Um, <laughs> should you clean before the cleaning service comes? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what we actually say is pick up, right? Oh, okay. So if you that's got- what you, That's what you meant. Yeah, yeah. so if yeah. you have kids, <laughs> yeah. we say if you have kids, I mean, that's a really good answer or question because people do say that and they will go around and literally start cleaning. Oh, I can't let my cleaner right. see this. They'll think I'm a slob. <laughs> is that insane? Listen, <laughs> I is, mean, think about that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's very insane. I just tell them, I said, listen, pick up the kids' toys. Uh, if you have dishes and we don't do the dishes for you, then just pile them into the sink mm -hmm. or throw them in your dishwasher real quick. That's all you really have to do. Yeah. And typically I tell them, just do it the night before. Yeah. You know, well, well, in the morning my kids get up, they drag the toys out, yeah. you know, they're, they're pulling stuff, yelling and screaming. I said, okay, no, that's, that's not a problem. Uh, we had a family that did that and they, they had two little ones. I said, put all that stuff on the couch. Now I can do my work. There you go. You uh, know, when you get home, you can sort it out. Yeah. We always try to make, uh, you know, I always tell my people, if you have a problem, bring a solution. And that's what we try to do. We try to bring our clients solutions so that they're, you know, it makes it easier. Because mm -hmm. we don't think when we're in frantic mode. We just right. don't. We just like, I don't know what to do with all it. Right. Throw it on the couch. We How often? Um, so people probably have to set up some sort of a schedule, of, whether it's their office or their home, that you come X number of every other week or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, how do you know what's the right uh, schedule? So once again, we go to back to our phone calls. And so we try to find a little bit about our customer, what their daily activities are, what they do, what, the, what is their mm -hmm. type of profession. Some people, you know, work early in the morning. They want to get home at, say, 4 o'clock, and they want to eat dinner and enjoy their family, watch a little TV, read a book, whatever, and go to bed. So I say 
depending on the type of family you are or the type of profession that you are in, that would depend on what service you really should use. Mm -hmm. um, do we want everybody to be weekly? Yes. Yeah. That's great for business, <laughs> right. but that's not always the case. Right. Some people only really need our service once every other week. Uh, maybe they do their normal general cleaning throughout the week, and so they want to yeah. get that pick up. And then there's the bi-weekly service, and then your monthly. Right. Usually the monthly services is more geared towards your uh, elderlies that, you know, maybe they have home health aides that come in and they do things, but they want a nicer clean, you know, once a month. Mm -hmm. So that's, mm -hmm. that's where we would come in and take care of that stuff. Every home is uh, different, every family is different. How have you been able to uh, kind of find your way to suit everybody? Because it's every, people I talk to, they, they love you guys. Yeah, so it is a challenge, right? And again, that's where I love, two of our great things is, one, we have a 100% clean guarantee and what that means to the customer is that for any reason that you are unsatisfied with that service, call us so that we can fix that problem. The second cool. thing is communication. If you don't communicate, we always say it's like a marriage. Without communication, it's gonna end in divorce and we don't want that. So please let us know so that yeah. we can fix these problems. We are not God, we are not infallible people, we will make mistakes. So yeah. help us, you know, to be a better company for you and for people that want to that service. Are there um, are there levels of service where you, you will um, your staff even does laundry for for people? Absolutely. Are there things like that? So what we call those are add-on services. Add -ons? Okay. Yeah. So like if they want us to make their beds, do the dishes. Sure. Um, if they need us to do some laundry for them. Have Absolutely. you ever done any of the things that Leonard's talking about right now? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, don't mess that one up, buddy. I know where your wife is. <laughs> I, I'm not allowed to uh, load the dishwasher. Because you'd break it. Well, I, I just don't. I'm not. Uh, He's left-handed. <laughs> yeah. So for my wife, it's funny because I always, that's how it is at home for me. Like, why did you put the dish in it? It'll wash. I said, honey, look at the spinner. I said, that's not going to spin. It's going to go bloop. And it's going to stop and just be spraying. She's like, well, then you load the dishwasher. Fine, I'll load the dishwasher, you know. I don't mind doing it because I want my dishes clean when they come out. Not that she doesn't do a good job. Honey, you do a great job. Um, but you, you want to make sure that, you know, things are moving correctly in that uh, order there. I think uh, talking to you guys and custom plans, I mean, that's the way to do it, right? You don't know what you really want maybe sometimes, too. So having you guys do a walk through the house, yes. uh, you might notice some things that you know, the homeowner might not. Absolutely, and we actually do get that a lot of times. Yeah. Like, somebody will say, oh, I didn't think about that. Right. You know, and that's what I love about our initial clean. When we come in to do your very first clean, we do a complete top to bottom, you know, fans, baseboards, mm -hmm. all the molding work, everything, top to bottom. And that gets them into the right. And it's funny because we have seen people and they'll say, oh my goodness, I'm embarrassed. I said, don't be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Who sits here and moves this stuff all the time? Right. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you saw my house, we got tons of decor. And our cleaner that comes into our house, which we pay for, uh, you will, they get a little overwhelmed. And so my wife will show them, here's what you do. Yeah. And just do this and do this, yeah. you know? And when you follow the system that we have implemented in our company, it streamlines the work. And they feel less overwhelmed. And that's what's really great about our employees and working for us. They love that. Uh, what if uh, I'm having a graduation party and I need my windows cleaned? Yes. So there's two different options on that. Okay. One is you set up the thing as long as it's you know an open window. Sure. The other thing is um, we use uh, a partner of ours, okay. Hathaway yeah. uh, Cleaning Restoration. Doug Hathaway there is a great friend of mine, and that's what they specialize in. Perfect. So I always refer. I'm a great referral person for other businesses because I believe when we do that, we just lift the community yeah, and put back into it. So yeah, they're they're excellent, and especially in, in high windows. Like we'll do some low stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, but our insurance says no more than three steps. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna go play golf today or what? Good lord, I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> Andy is. Well, oh. <laughs> well, not right now. Later. Oh, later. Not till five thirty-eight. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. You teach me how to play golf, and I'll teach you how to. You were gonna say clean. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'll just teach you how to play golf. All right. That, perfect. So. Perfect deal. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for all you do. Awesome. Owner of Keeping It Clean <clears throat> and Small Business Person of the Year, Leonard Phillips. Uh, we wrap up the morning show after this.
Cascades Humane Society is excited to announce the 2023 Paws in the Park, presented by Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning. This year, the fun will be had at Cascade Falls Park on Saturday, June 3rd. The event will feature a 5K run and walk for both people and dogs, and a shorter wolf walk is available along with Kids Doggy Dash. The popular Ultimate Air Dogs will be back. The premier dog dock diving company where dogs run off a dock and are judged based on how far they jump in the pool. Your own dogs can compete. Also included will be vendors to shop, food to purchase, kids activities, pony rides, a petting zoo and a vaccine clinic. Visit chspets.org for more information. There are many different kinds of noses. Our noses can sniff out all kinds of things. Good things and bad things. Your nose knows if those sniffles are just a cold, allergies, or COVID-19. So swab it, test it, it's good to know. Asthma Allergy Centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board-certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy-related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson just off I-94 exit 141 or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Morning and welcome back to the morning show. Did you see uh, Brooksy won the PGA? Uh, the exciting PGA uh, tournament was uh, awesome. Uh, every yeah. step of it, uh, except who won. Yeah, Brooks, I'm, I'm not a big Brooks. Fan. I'm, I'm not either. He's kind of a he's kind of a goof. Uh, he went. Brooksy went out celebrating. I think he would. I mean, this was a, like a big monkey off his back. Well, it looks like he. It looks like you might have taken half of an acid tablet of monkey poop. <laughs> Jeez, Brooksy. Wow. I didn't realize he was that into hockey. Whoo! That looks like Brandon and I at the lug nuts game, about seventh <laughs> inning. Yeah. Jeez. The bus ride home. No, the bus ride home, eyes closed. <laughs> hey, if I was Brooksy, I'd probably be doing that too. I think the, um, one of the big stories was Michael Block, the PGA. Oh, we Tour haven't talked about that enough. Michael Block, what a legend. Amazing guy. Yeah, very and cool. And to get the hole in one, yeah. that's like unbelievable. Yeah, and he'll be playing next week. Yeah, he got an so. invitation to the Wells Fargo. Is that, we went to the Wells Fargo. We didn't. We no. went to the golf course that they play the Wells oh, Fargo at, okay. which is a beautiful course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he gets an invitation to that, and we'll probably see more of him. I think so too. He yeah. uh, he's great he, for the tour. He won three hundred and thirty thousand yeah. dollars for finishing. Type isn't, for isn't that cool? Yeah, and uh, he'll probably uh, get another couple hundred thousand dollars in appearances over the next yeah. year. Guess so. how much he won up until this point? Under six thousand. Zero. Really? Zero. His career earnings <laughs> cool. zero. Well, I think <laughs> I think he's got a cool job, and uh, you know what a, what a life that yeah. he's living. What what's going to mm -hmm. be a great summer? It's good to be Michael Block for sure. Tomorrow morning, join us. We have Clint White and uh, Karen Watson from the Jackson County Airport. Jenny Matelka will also be here from St. John's Catholic Cemetery. And Monique Zantop, director of Birthbright, she will be here. That's tomorrow morning. Uh, later today, uh, Noah Nagy, Gary King, Jesse Yeager, Mara Kerr McKay, Morgan Smolowski, Cadence Weaver, Jacob Innocencio, Lisa Kreiderman, and Vic McDermott, all starting at one o'clock. We'll see you then.
It is time to kick off our summer lake edition.